Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at primary key constraint in Oracle SQL. So before this we have made videos on what constraints are, about not null and check constraint, on unique constraint and this is our third video on working with constraints. So first of all what, what are constraints? Constraint helps us in regulating the data that is being inserted into our tables so that we don't end up with junk data on the longer run. So what primary key basically does is it specifies the column that uniquely identifies a row in a table. It specifies a column or a set of column I would say. Now what happens over here is when you declare a column as a primary key, say suppose in my below you know, uh, table I have this employee ID as primary key. So what I mean by this is the value in primary key will never be re repeated and employee ID column which is the primary key will never contain null data. So as you can see this last two records 101 and null would not be allowed or would be aborted. The insert or update trying to do that would be aborted. Why? Because 101 record is already present in this table. So I cannot insert again 101. This will be a violation of the uh, primary key condition that the data in the primary key is unique. You know there is no repetitive data in that column and you cannot have not null uh, you cannot have null data into the table it should always be not null so does it sound familiar to something like unique key yes it does we can say a primary key is something like unique key plus not null constraint you know unique key also has the uh, working like whenever you de declare a column as unique you cannot insert repetitive data in that column but the thing is unique key would allow not null constraints so primary key would mix both of them and it would be like you will always have some unique data in that column and you will not it will never allow any null values okay so this is about primary key and a primary key uh, will only be one in a table you can have composite primary key where you take two three columns or more than two columns okay sorry more than one columns together and create a composite primary key saying like these three together or these together are my other primary key okay but you will never have multiple primary keys okay I can never have employee ID as primary key first name last name as primary key email uh, as primary key but surely I can have a combination of first name and last name as a primary key that is composite primary key okay so don't get confused into it I, I have seen a lot of people commenting on different blogs that you know you are taking two columns as primary key so how can you say that you know you cannot have multiple primary keys when you when even you take two columns and you know combine it together and create a composite primary key on that you are just creating a single primary key not multiple just one okay but that one is on defined on two different columns that is the thing now as we know primary keys are nameable you can give some names to your constraint primary key constraint and primary key constraint can be declared at the column level and at the table level when you do it at the column level you can have a simple primary key that is whichever columning you uh, column you are you know declaring for that column you give it as a primary key but when you give it on a table level you can include multiple columns to it right and you cannot have more than 32 columns in a you know composite primary key uh, also one column cannot be considered into primary key and unique key both of them it can either be a primary key or unique key now when you will create a primary key constraint on a column or multiple columns of your table what Oracle implicitly does is it would create an index on that column or a set of columns this is mostly asked in interviews like how what happens when you create a primary key of course you declare the column as primary key but Oracle would implicitly also create an index on it yeah so now I'll get into practical demonstrations and we'll see how to create primary key on a table mostly mostly I've seen and mostly it is a good practice that when you uh, when you will have IDs in your column such as employee IDs or country IDs or location IDs or department IDs or you know numeric values the, those will be considered a, a, as a primary key those will be like always unique those will never be null and it's not easy to define a row based on that number 
okay like find the details of employee 101 okay so it is good that way instead of you know putting it on a name or you know something else it is always advisable to put it on id kinds of column primary key basically so i'll just create a table called as employees i'll have employee id and i'll declare this with number data type and i'll make it primary key all i need to do is just mention primary key and here it is i have declared my column employee id as primary key this is a inline declaration or a column level declaration okay here here what i've done is whenever i am declaring the column data type i'm simply saying make it primary key okay and then let me take employee name which is let's say where care 2 30 and let us take employee email which is also where care 230 and i'll make this as unique right so i'll create this table as you can see the table is created and i'll insert record into this table like insert into emp values now omitting the column uh, clause because i'm going to insert data in all the columns employee id say 100 employee name let's take sheldon right and employee email let me take ss at the rate gmail.com when i as you can see i just inserted one record into this emp table i'll just query it so now what happens is employee id 100 is primary key so you cannot insert null there you cannot you know repeat 100 over there employee name is there's no constraint on it it can be null uh, again employee email is uh, unique so in a unique constraint I would say if I do 101 and I put Raj over here and if I put null in place of email it is all okay because unique constraint would allow null values right it will allow null now if I try and you know put null as employee id which is declared as primary key right and i'll take um, employee name as penny and employee email i'll put like say pp at the rate just something gmail.com right if i execute it as you can see over here it says cannot insert null into hr.emp.employee id right you cannot insert null over here because it is declared as primary key right so this is about primary key this is an inline declaration what I'll do is I'll show you how to do an out of line declaration or table level declaration so I'll do a drop table EMP I can even drop the constraint and recreate it I'll show it again that way so instead of declaring primary key over here I'll just write it constraint constraint name I need to give some valid name is always good practice to give names that we can understand just by reading so I'll, I'm taking table name underscore constraint type emp underscore pk it is primary key and on what column say on employee id column see the benefit I get in table level declaration as I stated during the presentation is I can have multiple columns here I can take employee id and employee name both right but if I am doing a column level or an inline you know uh, this constraint declaration with primary key I can take only one primary key like I can, I can make employee ID as primary key with inline or I can make employee name but if I'm doing a table level declaration over here I can have I can point to multiple columns so let me do it I'm doing it to employee ID and employee name both let's create this table as you can see the table is created I'll just ins insert this record over here it is taken successfully 100 Sheldon if I insert 101 Raj it is all fine because primary key is uh, satisfying also unique key is satisfying now if I insert this null penny of course it would give an error saying you cannot insert null into this because it is you know a primary key declaration now as I stated before when you create a primary key an index will be created see over here an index is created this is what happens when you create a primary key you know an index is created on the columns on which you have 
declared the primary key now how to uh, like say suppose how to drop a primary key in an existing table if there is table and the table has data and you want to drop the primary keys on the table all you need to write is alter table table name drop constraint constraint name that is it now if I do this I've altered the table definition I've changed the structure of the table I have just dropped the primary key constraint now I can insert this record see because there is no primary key I can insert null over here now now if I want to get it back I can just write add constraint constraint name primary key that way add constraint constraint name what is the constraint primary key where you want it let me have it on employee ID done executed ah yes now this is one thing to understand now if you are going to add constraint to a table you need to make sure that the column that you are working on or the co set of columns you are working on are is not violating the constraint over here I'm trying to make this employee ID as primary key but it has null data so it says like when I try to make it primary key it says column contains null values you cannot alter to not null right so first handle that and then come and make it you know uh, add your constraint so you will get such kind of errors if you are doing this alter table add constraint and you get errors that means there is some data in your column in that column where you are adding constraint which is violating the constraint so either I can you know delete this record or I can you know give it some value so I'll just delete this record delete from EMP where EMP ID is null okay one row is deleted now if I do is alter table I can simply add that constraint over there you know now it is altered so now the, I, was, I was able to add the primary key because I have just removed what was causing hindrance so this is the way if this is the way how you can add primary key we have seen column level table level we have seen how we can do an alter table and add and drop the primary key also you have seen seen on what primary key is all about so I hope this video was informative and you guys enjoyed watching this please do like share and subscribe and I'm coming with a video on difference between primary key and unique key please do tune in to watch that video also this is Kishan signing off thank you